Once children have learnt their times tables and they know how to multiply by 10, 100 and 1000, they can then start to solve questions like this, 36 times 4. And to do this nowadays, we use a method called the grid method, which is a fantastic method. It really shows the children how to partition the numbers, understand place value, it reduces the number of mistakes that they make, and in our experience, it's by far the best method in terms of the children being successful at multiplying. And this is how it goes. You write the multiplication symbol, and then you partition this number into 30 and 6. And then we write the number we're multiplying by over here. And we're going to turn this into a grid now. So we draw our grid lines. Like so. Now we do the calculation in stages. 30 times 4 is 120. And children will know that because of their knowledge of times tables. 4 times 3 is 12, times 10 is 120, and 4 times 6 is 24. I'm lining up the digits to make it easier to find the answer underneath, and that equals 144. Multiplying in this way really teaches the children to appreciate the place value and also get the right number of digits in their calculation to get the right answer at the end. It's a very, very powerful method and that is how you multiply using the grid method.